Hi, my name is Ann, and we're here at Pompa Health Solutions. This is our patient Tracy today, Hi. and we're going to show you how to give a visual contrast test. Okay, so Tracy, um, I'm going to explain to you why we're actually doing this. It is a toxicity screening, and it's a very simple test that we do. Very accurate, CDC approved um, for showing if you have biotoxicity going on. What happens if, if you're exposed to biotoxins and they're affecting you negatively, your nerves are depleted of oxygen, causing hyperperfusion. One nerve that we can outwardly test is the optic nerve. So this is how we are going um, to test you for biotoxins today. Right. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to first give you an acuity test that shows that you're seeing well enough to even take the visual contrast test. Again, you can explain to your patients that it's actually not the acuity that we are testing, it's the optic nerve's ability to um, see contrast and shades, and that is based upon the oxygen in the optic nerve. If your optic nerve is not getting enough oxygen, then you're going to have trouble seeing shades. Um, you're going to have difficulty seeing um, at night and sensitivity to lights in general. So that's what this test will measure. But first, again, like I said, I want to make sure that you see well enough to take this test. Tracy will have to see at least 20-30 to qualify to take this test. Um, are you wearing contacts right now? Yes, I am. Okay, you are. So I'm going to mark off that she's wearing contacts, and I'm also um, going to give her this test. Okay, hold that to your chin right there. Very good. And I want you to cover one eye, and read me the lowest row of numbers in the left-hand side right here. Uh, I can't see the lowest row, but I can see right above it. Okay. 937826. Okay, very good. So you measure 2025 on that. Can I, uh, can you measure your other eye, please? I can see the lowest row, I believe. Okay. It's four, four, three, five, seven. No, actually, try one above that. Nine, three, seven, eight, two, six. Very good. Okay, so she is 20, 25 on both eyes. So she definitely should pass this test. Go ahead and hold that to your chin, and we're going to start the actual test. I'm going to have her start with row A and read row A all the way across, row B all the way across, C across, D across, and E across. Now, if you are doing a health screening day and you need to be more efficient in the amount of patients that you're doing that day, then you can just use row C, D, and E. Those are actually the diagnostic rows. But um, to chart a pattern, if you have more time with the patient, you want to do A through E. A and B are more nutritional rows, and um, you'll see those come up as they improve their diet, but C, D, and E are the toxicity rows right there. So go ahead and hold that to your chin. And what I'm going to have you do is um, I'm going to have you look at the key on the bottom. You see how these shades are angled? Like mm -hmm. this one is to the right, this one's up, and this one's to the left. They look yes. like little fingerprints almost. Mm -hmm. I want you to read me the directions that they're going. You can just tell me left, straight, right, whatever way that they are going. And I want you to cover one eye. We're going to do one eye at a time, okay? Starting with row A1, we're going to do A across. We're going to continue with the same eye all the way through E, and then we're going to switch eyes, okay? Okay, so starting with A1. Yes. Left, straight, right, straight, left, right, left, Straight, right. Very good. Row B. Right, left, right, left, right, straight, left, right. And I can't see the last one. Okay, could you move it around? You can angle it down to try to get any more mm, light still on. Still can't see it. Still can't see it, <laughs> okay. I like to push the patients as far as they could possibly go. They can wiggle it around, they can move it down just to... Um, keep it controlled and consistent, but each time they are being pushed to go as far as they possibly can. Row C. Straight, right, left, straight, right, straight, right, and I can't see anymore. Okay. You're moving it around? Mm hmm Okay, great. D. Left, right, straight, right, straight, and I can't see anymore. E. Straight, left, right. I think that last one's straight, and then I can't see anymore. Okay. And then you would proceed to do the next eye as well. Um, here, Tracy only sees to five on row D, which is borderline failing. So she is showing symptoms of um, a slight biotoxic exposure. This could be the beginning of a biotoxic exposure, or she could um, be so heavy metal toxic that um, 
it's affecting her BCS test. Right here, you see the rows mapped out. Again, if we did the other eye, they would be mapped out as well. And I circle the area where that's questionable right there, which is um, row D, number five. Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you. And good luck.